worn out. That's the inn we told you about. We've only ever been here once before, and that was quite a long time ago. I'm glad to see it's still here. Hey, it's already pretty late. Let's just stay here for the night. Good idea. We'll set out again tomorrow morning. But for tonight, let's get some rest. My lord, the Kabasa Bridge has fallen. It appears Tuba fell to his death along with the others. Ugh, that useless fool. He wasn't satisfied taking his own life. He had to kill the guardian of a Gogo forest, too. What shall we do, my lord? Oh well, all we need to do is find the glowing Agogos. This just proves how worthless Tuba really was. I feel more sorry for the bridge. After all, it had to support that behemoth's weight. <laughs> Bull crap, he was hard as hell. Saying he's worthless. Anyway. So this is where Andantino's fearless leader's been hiding. Viola. Sometimes the cool night air is just the thing I need to get my thoughts in order. To think, all that time I was happily looking after my goats, you were making plans and doing things to change the world. I'm ashamed I didn't act as soon as I knew something was wrong. There's nothing to be ashamed of. You took good care of Arco and your herd and you managed to do it all on your own. The kindness and protection you show towards the things that are important to you. <laughs> We're the ones who could learn something from you. <laughs> Stop it, you're gonna make me blush. Oh, are you out for some air too, Allegretto? This area gets kind of cool at night, so it's nice. What's bothering you, Allegretto? I know what it is. I bet you're thinking about Polka, right? What's the matter? I've been thinking about this for a while now. The people that attacked us? I get the feeling they thought we were part of Andantino. I see the whole group has arrived. Hey, he looks like someone in authority around here. You're right, he does. Let's go ask him if he can get us an audience with Count Waltz. Hold it. We already know all about your plan. Let's keep this very simple. Don't resist us, and none of you will get hurt. You have a point. No matter what they might say about Count Waltz, even he wouldn't give orders to kill ordinary citizens who are just coming to visit him. Exactly. That guy sounded like he knew that someone was supposed to be showing up at that time, and he was waiting for them. Jazz, it sounds like you might have an information leak. What? Yeah. It's possible you've got a spy working in your group. But Claves and Falsetto are the only ones who knew about that mission. That would mean... One of them is a traitor. Who? Uh, search the room for stuff. What day is the day anyway? I've lost track of time with so much going on. During the first playthrough, I think there's a score piece in here. Let's see. It says, 
there. Cantable, Cantable, Cantable. Ah! In a boat outside Cantable Inn. Pretty sure I got it. Let's see what's in this room. Meat hook. They had a, a meat hook on the uh, on the frickin' plant next to the bed. I think it's a weapon for her. Yep, a weapon for assassins. Who the hell puts that next to a bed in a in a ho in a inn? Weird. I think I talked to this guy for the uh, basket. Mr. Squeakers, my little Mr. Squeakers has run away. Mr. Squeakers, he's my precious pet rat. Please help me catch him. Vermin. I guess I'd better help. Erg, he got away. Got away again. He's really fast. Now, where did he go? Scream! Alright, I got him. Here's your vermin. Handed over fruit basket containing Mr. Squeakers. Pfft. Be careful not to lose him again. Oh great, thank you so much for catching Mr. Squeakers. When I think about life without him, I get all choked up. Here, it's not much, but I want to give you something to thank you. Winder. Okay, and I take the winder with me to Woodblock Groves. And I give it to a giant... Onion monster or something, I forgot. It's too big for a clock. What, what could it be used for? Mr. Squeakers. Anything else? Okay. Seriously, who keeps a meat, a meat hook on a tree next to their bed in an inn? People are weird. can't buy anything, but you can stay, if you wish. The place is poison to the core. Don't eat any of the spores by mistake now. You look like you look like the uh, kind of guy who would eat anything. That's right. The next area is like poison. What's that? Hey, nice. 45 gold, which is a paltry sum. I got 67,000. Okay, who do I want to give the... Uh, Probably give it to her. The uh, emerald bracelet. Copper necklace. Give her the copper necklace. Her defense is kind of low. 31. Reduce chance of becoming poisoned. Hmm. Should I give that to her? I think if you get attacked with poison or something, it doesn't uh, prevent poison. Oops. Another teleporter, so if you want to uh, uh, come back here later using the teleporter, you can use it for this area. Since you can't really walk here from uh, other places. Is it this way? Nope. Okay. That hellhole called Woodblock Groves is up here. Once you get past this area and defeat the boss, you're uh, home free. As in, uh, you're able to buy new items, some weapons, save, blah, blah, blah. poison just permeating through the air. What a pain in the ass. I kind of hate this area, too. Urgh. And he's thinking, could it be her? 
Could it be Clave's? We'll reach the town of Andante just after these woods. We're finally back home. I get another poison accessory or not. This area isn't too tough, but uh, it's not as bad as that stupid uh, Andantino secret passage where it just winds around all over the place. Plus, it's got this area has more of those stupid octopus monsters with the weird faces that are uh, have a crop ton of hit points. Anyway, oh. I can get from them. Hmm. 